All right, so we're starting with the valve actuator closed. Yep. 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 Ooh. Ooh. So obviously there's some issue here. But anyway, that's closed. That's open. Closed. Open. And that's how we want it sounded all the time. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what's going on there. I think they damaged the actuator and they tried to put cable tie on it to keep it closed. I don't even know. But I realise now that while I've been thinking it's changing, it clearly hasn't. So that's open. Closed. Give me a rev, please. So that's how it sounds closed, right? And again! And that is open. That is how we want it sounded all the time. So uh, I guess we're going to be um, permanently, I guess, uh, not even sure what I'm going to use yet, but permanently cable time potentially. Let's find something to keep us open at all times because who wants, to, who wants to hear this when it's quiet, man? I mean, yeah, sure, the neighbors probably want it quiet when you start, but psh, that's their business. walk around in its current state uh, sun's out so it's definitely doing the car some justice and it's dirty bear that in mind it's dirty but it still looks good so imagine what it looks like when it is shining man polished and all of that good stuff yeah definitely worth it check out my insta guys don't forget to check out my insta and hopefully hopefully we'll get some some more content added to that soon but you know as always stay tuned to my youtube channel make sure you like comment and subscribe and turn on those po post notifications for future uploads guys because we've got more stuff coming okay guys so we're finally in the driver's seat um we're going to take this car for a quick spin see if we can get a little speed out of it just a little North to, north to 30, north to 30, and see how it sounds from the cabin. I'm gonna tell you how I feel about the steering and so on. I'm just talking now. So you know what? Without further ado, let's just get into it. 
all right so we've got the car in comfort mode i can't believe it it says 28.5 degrees on the dash that's insane so cars in comfort that was light revs nothing too over the top but you can hear straight away it's got a very nice grunt to it nice feeling the engine roaring it's beautiful so on this particular stretch i'm going to pop it into sport mode and we can instantly feel the difference in in the accelerator it just wants to go literally Second. Not bad. Oof. Have you thinking that you're on the Nervo Green? <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna pop it back into comfort for the time being. So this is one of my favorite cars I've driven so far, I'll be honest. Um, even though it has the N55 engine, which comes out of the um, 135 uh, 2014 shape, I believe that shape 135, it's still spectacular. Obviously, it's got um, M4 internals, which I think do the car massive justice. Not, not, not saying that the 135 isn't good anyway, but yeah just the little bits that they've done to tweak the m2 makes it even more special the fuel consumption is not great but isn't the worst being that it hasn't got the twin turbos like the m3 and the m4 and the m2 comp i think it saves it a little bit not dramatically if you're driving it sensible you could probably expect somewhere between 20 to 23 miles per gallon if you're driving it like an asbo um you can ex probably expect something between 15 and 18 miles per gallon which is not great but at the same time it's a performance car so you get what you pay for don't you you don't buy this kind of car and worry about the fuel gains you feel that yeah so this car is very tail happy i forgot to make mention of that um i have got a little bit of experience driving bmw's rear wheel drives with power so it doesn't come as a surprise to me anymore and the traction was on but if you saw how the car just tried to um, put the back out if the traction was off it would have probably been game over okay guys so back into second I think that was my initial reaction if I'm honest I was like when I got it I didn't know I wasn't super familiar with M2s I didn't know that this didn't come with the um, S55 engine I hadn't done my research the car looked lovely decided I wanted it bought it that was it then when I got the car you know I've lifted up the bonnet my friend's got an M4 comp I've looked underneath his hood oh them pops and bangs are beautiful can you hear those pops and bangs wait hold on one second very very slightly there but yeah i've looked underneath his bonnet and i've instantly noticed that um i'm not even sure exactly what it is i think it's oil no it's not the oil coolers i think it's turbo coolers or something it's like they're looking things instantly as you open the bonnet obviously and he's got the carbon um engine strut i noticed those things wasn't on this and i was like okay this is a bit odd then i started googling and i've seen that this comes with a different engine um, the N55 engine which I do know to be the 135 engine and I was a bit disheartened basically but 
after driving it around for about a month, I would definitely buy another one, 100%. It's still up there in the performance range. Like going off the line with an M4, I am like neck and neck, if, even if not like a nose ahead of the M4. The M4 eventually will rip this car to shreds, but let's be honest, you're driving it around town, London, whatever, unless you, even on a track, I think on a track it would give an M4 a run for its money because this car's it's very light, it's very agile, it handles well. Like I have full confidence in this car. If you saw me just go past the, um, I don't even know what car that was I overtook a while ago, I didn't overtake it, it was turning right. And like I said, when I was saying about the car being tail happy, I was not worried at all, like it was no concern for me. The car just kind of, it does its thing, jumps back into like doing what it's supposed to be doing and you're good. turned off Sport Plus, which has basically turned off the traction minimally, so let's see what happens. It's because you can turn it off, half turn it off, when you put it in Sport Plus, it kind of half turns off the traction. It allows you to show off a little bit the way I just did. Um, if you turn it off completely, that little drift is never ending basically unless you've got the control you probably lose the control absolutely love it man it's wicked Right guys, so as you can see, I've given it a nice clean, looking fresh. I've even put some, um, I've even put some tire shine on. I was feeling myself today. So um, I'll try and get a snapshot of the previous video so you can get a before and after idea of what the car looked like before and what it looks like now. But yeah, when you clean it, man, it, it shines up beautifully. Look at the front. And you're probably thinking to yourself, where's the number plate? Well, you know what? I personally felt the front number plate ruined the aesthetic of the vehicle. Um, besides the fact I haven't got one. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, I, I think I got so used to it not being on that now I don't even want to put it on. I think it looks better. Yeah. So yeah, that's all we've got time for, man. Catch you in the next one.